Ivan Zood. I am Clipper Guy, and welcome to Jatai Academy, J A T A I dot net on the web. Welcome to another video in our series of online education. Today we're focusing on issues of texture versus density and tips and tricks for working with clients with different textures and densities. Our four friends here represented finer hair and coarser hair, and they represented thicker hair versus thinner hair in terms of density. In this video, I want to spend a couple of moments to address coarser hair textures. Coarser hair textures can be high density, hairs per square inch, or low density, less hairs per square inch. So we've got some tips and tricks to talk about for interacting with these two customers. The first thing we're going to look at is coarse hair with high density, lots of hairs per square inch, and a very large thread-like property to each hair. Hair that is rope-like, hair that is very coarse at its individual strand. Number one, keep it short. When you've got this much hair, in both texture and density, you've got a lot of hair, and a lot of hair is just too much hair. I built my business focusing on putting hair on the floor. The less hair my clients took home, the happier everybody was. There's a myriad of benefits to focusing on short. That's a subject for another video, but when we're dense and coarse, let's take them short. Number one. Number two, let's avoid texturizing. Using a blending scissors for texturizing to create shorter pieces within the hair, bad idea on this client. Using a razor, here's my texture handle with my texture blade, to create texture inside here on dense and coarse hair, bad idea. Because what happens is all those little pieces create a support network, and they create volume and fullness, unless of course that's your goal, and they build poof. You will end up with so much hair. This person's hair will enter the room before they do, and when you look at them, we used to, in the 80s, we called them hair bears. You would see these, it was just all this hair with a little person underneath. Don't be the person that's building those things. So, no texturizing on the dense, coarse client like that. And don't ever use the word thin. Thin is a four-letter word in the presence of a male client. We will refer to reducing density on hair that's heavy like this, maybe razoring and maybe just on the ends, but avoid talking about thinning. This client's not worried about it. He's got so much. And this client, he gets thinning from God and the universe. He doesn't want it from you. So those are our... Uh, oh, and lastly, for thick and coarse hair, smoothing the surface. Techniques like razor rotation where we're glossing or grooming the surface of the hair to create smoothness, to blend in the ends of the hair. What is perfect for razor cutting is ideal for the high density, coarse textured customer. The next customer we're gonna look at is our customer who has coarse hair. The thread-like property of each hair is very bulky, but hairs per square inch, they just don't have as much. And here are my tips. Once again, Ivan's ongoing mantra, let's go short. This hair is better shorter. Keep it short. There's enough of it to work with, but you don't want any hair that is low in density to be long. You're going to see through it. Think traditional comb over. Don't go there. That's a bad thing. So keep it short. Number two, with this client, you can use firmer styling products. They need the hold and they need a product that is strong enough to fight the coarseness of the hair. So unlike our fine friends over here, this guy or this client can use firmer, heavier, your pomades, maybe your oil bases, uh, your waxes are going to be great for this type of client. And lastly, um, razor for smoothness. Again, we talk about the razor rotation technique. And here, we're not getting internal here because if you don't have a lot of hair to begin with and you do a lot of texturizing, you have even less hair. That's never going to be the goal for a client. But razoring at the ends of the hair to allow that coarse hair to blend more smoothly. If you scissor cut that, it's going to end up very, very harsh and blunt. This guy and this guy, quite frankly, are screaming to be razor cut. And obviously, Jatai and the Feather Razor, the Freestyle Razor with our standard blade, the Freestyle Razor with our texture blade, or the Freestyle Razor with our R-Type, our rapid cutting blade, are all exceptional choices for some of that coarse hair. You know, traditionally, a lot of 
And I don't like to divide it by ethnicity because it's not an ethnic issue. But when we refer to what are typically thought of as thick and coarse textures like Asian or Latino hair textures, prime candidates for beautiful razor cutting results. I'm Ivan Zoot. I am Clipper Guy on behalf of Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web. My home on the web is ivanzoot.com. Thanks for watching once again. Have a great day.